what am I, about 25 feet up in the air? No, 20 feet. And that's why I use Zoom Lock by RLS. How long would that take you to braise? Seconds. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is Thursday, April 27th, 2023. And today, we are going to install a Bosch IDS 2.0 heat pump central AC system. We're not only replacing the equipment, it's old train R22 system. It could even be an R410A system, but it's, it don't sound too good. <laughs> it really don't. Anyway, we're heading over to the hamlet of Woodmere. Woodmere is part of the five towns in the south western part of Nassau County on Long Island in the great state of New York. The customer had has previously entrusted us by replacing not only their water heater, but also their first floor central air conditioning system. We put in a Bosch there, we put in a Bosch tankless water heater, and we're putting in another Bosch IDS 2.0. And stick around, ladies and gentlemen, we have a customer, a very good long-term client. It's got an abundance of central air systems, and every year we replace a a central air system that's R22 based. We flush out the lines and we put in the Bosch. Well, next week we're putting in the fourth IDS 2.0. You're going to love it. So check it out. Stay tuned. Smash that thumbs up button and make sure you hit that notification bell to get, to get post notifications when I post content, which is basically on a daily basis. Made a full stop there. Let's make that right turn. We have those speed, those cameras in here in New York, those red light cameras. They're no bueno. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here we are. Wow, feels like deja vu. Look at that, 735. Uh, there's the Bosch that we did uh, last year. There's a Fujitsu that was done by others. There's the train, the XR13 we're taking out. Look how disgusting they did these line sets, by the way. See that? That looks absolutely disgusting and totally, totally, totally unprofessional. Like, what were they thinking? What were they smoking? Are you stupid or something? So we have a dripping hose faucet. <laughs> we have our uh, refrigeration lines that go there, goes across, hangs out in front of the window, hangs out in front of that window and that penetrates through that brick over there. I don't think we're gonna be able to squeeze along there. I don't think so, let's see. Let's see if we can squeeze along there and the answer is gonna be, she'd be tight. She would be tight. Hi, Daniel. How did you guys get here, by the way? Why you take the long... You put it in ways? Uh, the service oh. You don't know the area yet? I do. You take the long way. You, just, you went down Broadway, sitting in traffic. Yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> that way doesn't have traffic. Well, I went down Peninsula to Woodmere Boulevard and came here. Yeah. I don't think we could squeeze in there. We need some drop cloths. Someone knock on the door. Let's get drop cloths to the third floor. We're not using the prev clog, are we? The what? The prev clog. Prev clog? Yeah. <laughs> prev clog. Whatever happened Prev clog. You know what? They're so dumb. They're so smart, but they're so stupid. Let me tell you why. Prev clog. Prev clog is this awesome product that Daniel and I saw at AHR in Atlanta a few months ago. And they guarantee, they guarantee that you won't have any condensate drain stoppages. They guarantee it. If you put this basically string, this microbacterial string through the three quarter inch, you know, PVC drain line from the indoor unit to outside, right? I was like, awesome. You know what? I am gonna, I will make a killing off these things because guaranteed for like 20 years. So he emails me, I email him back. I was like, all right, you know, let's get, you know, get the ball rolling. Crickets. Beep, beep. 
What a quick, what a quick sound! You know how quick, what kind of sound those crickets make? Come on, they make like, chirp, 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 like a little chirp. Nothing, absolutely nothing. They have this awesome product. No, they have not said a word. To you. They emailed me once, and then like a month after that, I was like, "Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, we're a little busy." I'm like, "Well, we'll sign you up. We'll send you some samples." Nothing, absolutely nothing. Prev clause. I have nothing, absolutely nothing. I would literally probably sell, I don't know, three hundred a year. <laughs> you wanted like cases of it. I want a yes, I want cases of it. Prev clog. Oh well. I'm sure they're probably not watching, but if they are, dummies. Real, real dummies. <laughs> Alright. Let's get on to the attic. The drop off. Tool bag. Alright, here we go. Alright, halfway up. To the first floor, second floor. Why they don't have an elevator is beyond me. Okay, here we are. Peter, find an outlet. Let's plug that in. And we're going into the abyss. All right. We're gonna disconnect this right here. This is getting pushed out of that way. And this main trunk, we're replacing all the way across here. Our air handle's gonna go right here. And also the nonsense is coming out. Like, look what they did here. Look at this mess. They have these two ducks feeding this thing off of here. It's retarded. It really is retarded. So we're going to transform this system and give it, give these people some comfort. Okay, let's go show on the road. All right, there's the, uh, the air handler. We're gonna keep it there for now. It's a uh, quarter after eight. All the uh, main plenum is gone. As you can see, it's gone. Um, we have this 12 by 12 main plenum that goes into this room and then it shoots around to the other bedrooms on the second floor. We're gonna extend this out about, uh, I think it was eight feet. I'm gonna come across. We're gonna pick up this uh, branch, this branch. Keep coming across. <coughs> Another branch there. And our air handler is going to go here. Or it could go over a little bit more. I counted 18 feet from there to there. So chances are it's going to be pushed out this way a little bit more. We're going to pick up this one. <coughs> Excuse me. That one and that one. For all those saying Mikey Pipes should be wearing a mask. Well, you try wearing a mask in an attic. And it's really not that hot out. But it's, it's hot in here a little bit. And it doesn't feel like it's 51 degrees outside. We have some illumination, thank God. Got a drop light here. You gotta check out this check out this light fixture here, by the way, guys. Check this out. I'm gonna try not to blind you. But take a look at that. Wow. That is pretty epic. Alright, so I just put a light bulb in there and I put the old one, I put it right there. And when we're done, I'm gonna take that light bulb and put it back there and take my light bulb with me. Yep, I'm keeping it real. There was a light bulb here, but take a look at that electric. There's a reason why it's probably not working. And the reason why is it's probably shorted. So I'm not gonna mess with that. Oh, Daniel and Mike. All right, I would, uh, it's going the other way around. Daniel, go the other way. All we gotta do is flip the coil. Yeah, we gotta flip the coil. So there it is, the Bosch. Boosh. You know Boosh? Boosh. Love Bosch. Hashtag love Bosch. Okay, there's our existing 12 by 12. Here's our first 12 by 12. This is 12 by 12 by six feet. And we're gonna cut a slip and drive. We're gonna make this, let's make that a 15 inches. And we are going to get the show on the road. There's that. I like to just put a little cut right there. 
Or it helps you ease it in. Like it's when I slide into her. So let's go over here and Can you push a little bit more in? There you go. Okay. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna do that 9,900 other times and we're good to go. All right, we're making some modifications. Um, we are unfortunately in, in the way of a duct, a diffuser for this bedroom right here. And um, I was gonna, and I was thinking about it, and we were gonna do it if it was gonna come out nice, just elbow it right into it, but I decided not to. And uh, we're gonna cut this back about uh, eight inches here, and then we're going to reconnect, and then we'll be able to put an elbow on there and do it the right way with a takeoff. But in the meantime, Peter, did you hear that Carrier is buying Wiesman for $13.2 billion? Crazy. I just read on AHR News that um, Carrier announced it will acquire Wiesman Climate Solutions, the largest segment of the Wiesman Group, in a cash and stock transaction valued at 12 billion euro, which is $13.2 billion. By acquiring Wiesman Climate Solutions, a 106-year-old privately owned German company. By the way, I just had a meeting with the Wiesman rep uh, the other uh, last week on Thursday. He didn't say a word to me. Not a word. He knew this was going down. <laughs> uh, Carrie said it will gain a prestigious and high-end brand in Europe, which is also the fastest growing sector of the global heat pump and energy transition markets. Crazy. So I guess some of you guys who are saying that uh, the Well McLean Ecotech is trash, well, when you have a 20% failure rate, that's that's pretty effed up. And some of you commented, Mike, when are you gonna put in a Wiesman? And I was like, well, this may be the chance now. Uh, hope they're not gonna want me to get old Nate certified. That would suck. All right, so we cut off, what, uh, six inches, Daniel? Yep, exactly. Yep, perfect. Daniel's got this little corner cutter. It's supposed to be a corner cutter? Yeah. Daniel loves blowing his paycheck on tools. I do. I know. He has no like bills, no mortgage. <laughs> you have car insurance to pay? No. Parents pay that too, huh? Yeah. Damn, you're a lucky kid. My dad also uses my car every day now. Oh, because you don't... Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's right. Flat tires. <laughs> you should give him the mini bike keys. There's no keys. No keys for the mini bike? Nope. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> See Daniel's pops on a mini bike. <laughs> Let him get a flat tire on that shit. <laughs> right down to the rockway. You got everybody doing that all the time now. Yeah. All right. You see, you have this tool, That's right? Hard. And it's like not even doing anything for you. You can, use, you can use a grinder and be done with it. Yeah, you're right. Was it Malco? It'd still be cool to use it. I don't know. This reminds me of yesterday's oh, two-inch <laughs> first pipe on that boiler. Who's hollering at me? Nope. Now what happens? Broken? Uh, all right, I'll spare you guys the uh, the uh, <laughs> the embarrassment that Daniel's going through right now. It's tight. <laughs> it's tight. That's what your girl said last night. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And he gave up. There you go. Don't forget your PPE. All right, we did it. It's in place, cut off six inches. Slips and drives are in. Now, let's carry on. Hi, Peter. Cool. You know a lot, where did Daniel go? Uh, oh, nothing, okay. You know what, you know what I find it hard to believe? Someone actually sent me an email, I was like, you know what, you're full of shit. It doesn't take you four hours to put a boiler in. Um, it it's, it did, four hours, right, four yesterday. Hours. Um, it is, Five minutes to 10 in the morning. Look, it's still the 27th of April. It's still Wednesday. A uh, Thursday. Wednesday was a boiler. And I'm going to show them what we just have accomplished in about two and a half hours. There's the, there's the air handler. And there's our plenum. See? There's our plenum. And in case you're wondering, that remaining plenum is insulated on the outside. 
My plenum is insulated on the inside. And that is sweet. People just find it hard to believe that. People find it hard to believe that. We don't take breaks. We, we, we don't slack off randomly. We like to, we move with a purpose. Yeah. And the purpose is getting the job done. The faster we get the job done, the faster we get to go home. Yeah. And look, we have one, two, three, four, five ducts to connect. I'm going to about to drill out a hole in my return plenum for that 16 inch flex, which is going to go there. I'm going to come up and around to here. Or I may go around this way for now, just so it's out of the way. But um, this, this is epic. What was here before? Here is just a sample of what was here before. Look at this disgusting machine. How they just rigged it together. Do you have any from previous service calls up here to show how bad it was? We have. Um, I'm sure Daniel does. Yeah. We were here many times. We were here many times. But you know what? Let me stop talking. <laughs> if you want to hear plumbers talk, talk to MJF Mechanical. Oh! <laughs> he likes to talk, and he does good work. So, I'm not hating. I'm just saying, you like to hear plumbers talk? Watch MJF Mechanical. For now, I'm going back to work. I'm going to cut a hole. How's your hole? Family. All right. 40 minutes past the hour, past 10 o'clock. We have almost all of our branches connected. These are all the leftover scraps. We're going to throw that out. Uh, but I'm just checking my phone, and... Um, I got a message from PayPal, notification of donation received. I'd like to give a special shout out to Andrew Paycar, who donated $184.50. Um, that means that probably, uh, he probably donated $175 and the rest is the fees, maybe $180 and $4.50 PayPal fee. Because as a, as a 501c3 charity recognized by IRS, PayPal only charges 1.95% plus 45 cents per transaction. So special shout out to Andrew Paycar. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. And if you would like to donate to the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy Charitable Organization, I'm gonna put a QR code right now on the screen right there. Pause it, scan it in with your phone. It's gonna bring you to our PayPal donation page. Remember, it's 100% tax deductible and every dollar counts. Whether you give a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. Yesterday, I was having dinner. I got a thousand dollar donation. Let me show you. Yeah, you gotta do it right. Look at that. A thousand dollars. Twenty dollars and eighty cents was the fees, but a thousand dollar donation from uh, this came one came from uh, Al Bracco in Yonkers. Thank you so much, Al. And now you your generosity your speaks volumes of your integrity and your demeanor and your way of life. Thank you so much. Donations like yours, we can really help move mountains. Move mountains. Check out the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy YouTube channel. 100% of all ad revenue Peter. is going to help people who can't afford plumbing, heating, and cooling services in their home by hiring a professional. So that's my goal. That's the goal of the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy Charitable Organization. We provide free or low-cost plumbing, heating, or cooling services to those in the community who can't afford to hire a professional. That's the goal. And that's the charity that I started when the Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor YouTube channel hit 100,000 subscribers. We're going to move mountains. We're not stopping. And I got a special mountains coming up real soon. So stick around and make sure you hit that notification bell. Thank you, guys. Let's get the show on the road. We're almost done here. All right. 10 minutes to 11. I really think we may be done in time to go to Zaga or Mocha in Hewlett and have sushi for lunch today. What do you think, Daniel? I went Last time I went to Doma, I had black truffle... Uh, spicy tuna roll. Oh, oh, oh my God, with the spicy mayo and the eel sauce. Yeah, so I'm going to show you the picture of what it looked like. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. That was amazing, by the way. Amazing. It was sick. It's good. Wow. I would like to have some more of that. All right, so in order for us to have sushi for lunch today, uh, we're going we're to we're gonna pretend we don't see that, by the way. We don't see that. That's, that's job security. We'll, we'll save that for another day. See what? The host cock. What she's dripping. Like she has like an STD or something. I can't see it. You don't see it? I don't see it either. Okay. I am going to go up the ladder and we're going to start running the line high, the line set covers out of that hole. I'm going to come across. I'm going to shoot down right here and it's going to be epic. It's going to be amazing. Ain't that right? That's right. Hashtag love Bosch. Bosch. Boosh. Bosch. Oh my God. We got to switch the cover. We'll put this one right here, 
and then they'll be perfect. Oh, you're gonna put the in there. Yeah, no? Right? Yeah. Bosch. Yeah, I wish Bosch made ductless condensers. They oh, do. they do, but yeah, we don't install them. But what do they make, one side? I don't know, I don't like them. Like do they? Bosch the, I also hear Bosch makes these too, but it's not. It's media. Yeah, Oxbox is the same exact. I know Oxbox. 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 All right. I need to get my hammer drill. I got my anchors. I get these from SupplyHouse.com, the Versatech. They're nice. And we're gonna start with. I'm gonna start with that one. Then I'm gonna come across and go down. We got couplings. Boom. Oh, we got the hammer drill. Peter? Yep. What time is it? It's five minutes to 11. Do you realize that it's not even 11 o'clock yet and essentially all the duct work is done? Do work hard. Fast. Mike, any feedback? Sushi time. Sushi time. We're going to have sushi today, by the way. Yeah. People say that it's because the boss is there. That's why the guys move with a purpose. I say uh, bullshit. I say hogwash. When you were in Florida, we got boilers done at like noon. Yes. Right? You guys did that steam bore that you did, made the... That you piped in wrong. Right? You need to have a closer shoulder nipple coming out of the Hartford Loop T. He put in like a 20-inch nipple and wondering why it's banging. <laughs> Waking up the lady. She works overnight. So at night, during the day, the boiler's running. And she's being woken up by bang. Like, imagine someone taking a hammer to your head and bang, bang, bang while you're asleep. It wouldn't be good, right? Okay. Peter? Peter, I'm going to go up there. You're going to hold the ladder. Okay. And I'm going to start making holes. Yep. Throw me the camera. <laughs> I got it. There's Peter. All right. Let me show you what's going on up here. Here is our existing 3 8 and 3 quarter inch line set that these hacks has put in. Look how they even hacked this copper flashing. Look at this, I wonder why nothing leaks here. This is crazy. All right, so we're gonna have to chop this up a little bit, but we're gonna put this cover, I'm gonna put that right there. All right, and then I'm gonna shoot across and then down. I think it'll be perfect. And then we'll have to chip away at this cement right here, this mortar. So we need to get this line set in there. Actually, it's just moving around like, let's see. You know what, let's see. Come on, baby. Oh, you mother effer, you. Brute force. A Fred Flintstone. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You mother feffer, you. I give up. I'm done playing games. Pinched my nipple. It hurts. Yeah. One more little piece right there. I'll spray foam the rest of it in. Good. Excellent. All right, my hole is 
my hole is empty. Oh, my hole is empty. Okay, that's gonna go right there. Perfect. What am I, about 25 feet up in the air? No, 20 feet? And that's why I use Zoom Lock by RLS. How long would that take you to brace? Seconds with the make with the zoom lock. All right, a little after 12. My cover's in place. Drilled a little hole through the uh, the wall inlet to accommodate that drain that was existing. Goes right into that gutter. I'm not changing. It's clear. And they never even glued the elbow in, and I didn't glue it in either. So we'll be good. A little, a little bit of a turn there. I bent the that zoom lock 90. To accommodate that because that's not 90 degrees came straight down and we're right there we're going to use the uh the rems bender that i bought at ahr expo in um atlanta to transition there to there we could also do it inside too we're gonna see if this rems bender from europe will bend hard copper so stick around smash that thumbs up button Daniel, yeah, I, I feel a touch more. I feel bad. We did it off camera. <laughs> Maybe another touch. No, I, that definitely is ninety. All right. Okay, now let's go back. <laughs> pull that, pull that out. This thing comes out too. There you go. And now we have to make a measurement. Actually, is it ninety yet? That's actually a pretty solid bend. That is a pretty solid bend. That is a nice bend. The, the rims. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay. Go ahead. RLS zoom lock. We were going to uh, try and attempt to make a bend there after making that bend, um, but we don't know how to do it. We're keeping it real. There's a lot of math involved and, oh no, the battery's di dying. The battery just died. Did it? Did it? it. Oh good, you sure? The battery just died. The battery just died. I don't know. It's got two bars. Does it? Oh, so did it, did it press? Okay. Did you double, double press it? No. So that's that. We figured a coupling, an elbow is cheaper than, I don't know, messing up the last piece of pipe we have. So we did it. And maybe Rems will tell me how to measure multiple turns, multiple elbows or, or degrees when I'm making a pipe. I know the like, I know this way of doing it, but I'm not practicing. Yeah, I'm not practicing right now. It's you been a long time like since I did radius. it. Yeah, point in the middle of the points, midpoints. And when you make this at, at a 90, it stops there, but it actually 90 was over there, so it makes no sense. But it's a pretty cool $3,000 toy, and I just made a $3,000 bend right there. Tits. All right, full disclosure. It's 1 o'clock when I'm making it to Zaga today, so I gotta get a bagel. Get, get the boys some lunch. We're hungry. We're gonna feed the people. All right. I have three big. I have uh, three bagels with tuna, uh -huh. one bagel, cream cheese, and the drinks. One with cream cheese, three tuna. Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Here you go. Thank you. It would have been cheaper. Actually, wouldn't have been cheaper, but it's not sushi. But maybe tomorrow, Friday, we'll have an early day and we'll get some some uh, some sushi for the guys. All right, 1.30. We just finished lunch. We have a new 20 by 20 filter grill here. I'm gonna get his credit confirmation. We're gonna order him a case of filters. And I just started a, a plug-in on my website where customers now, they scan a QR code and it brings them to our website and you can buy them right on our website and it's, and it's all handled by Jackson Systems. All right, a little out of breath, but there's our nice duct, insulated. A few takeoffs, one, two, three, four, five. This is still running. We're gonna take this out at a later date. We're gonna leave it there for now, a little tired. Um, Daniel used the wet rag. And he did some brazing, very nice. And there's our line set, three eighths, 
three quarter and our communication wire, low voltage wire going to the outdoor condenser. For drain, I'm gonna have to get a little creative here, but we're gonna have to bring this across and maintain pitch to there. So it's gonna be a challenge, but I think we can handle it. All right, a few minutes after two, Daniel had a leak right here. So you have to rebraze re that. Um, I just ran the three quarter. Mike set the trap and I made these little stilts, all right, for elevation. And I secured them down with some three quarter inch conduit uh, clamps. So I got a foot there, a foot there, a foot there, and there. So that we have good gradual pitch. And I decided like, you know what? I'm the plumber in me. I'm gonna give it a vent. Some from fresh air, <laughs> all right? So we'll test our drainage later. We're gonna cap that. We're gonna put the water alarm in there and uh, wire up our line voltage. Daniel's vacuuming and hopefully we're out of here in another hour or so. All right, let's go on outside and let's see how we're doing with the vacuum process. Did it hold pressure? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? For a while too. Good, very good. Let's not look at that. Maybe it got warmer out. So there's your abrasion job. You're getting better. You know, it's not Stay Bright 8. I think it looks by the Harris though. Company. But okay, it looks nice. It looks nice. I wish our armor flex was a little bit longer to cover that, but um yeah. No, I can pull past the zoom lock fitting. Okay, very good. Very nice. So we have our field piece vacuum pump. Um, I think that's the 6 or the 8 CFM. Uh, I think it's 6. Uh, maybe it's a 6. It but we're going to be using the, by Eco Tools. This is the True Blue Professional. What was there? <laughs> uh, evacuation hoses. So, yeah. Can't wait. We're going to pull this thing down probably... I'm hoping. Daniel, what do you think? How many microns are we going to get this bad boy down to? I'm going to guess around 250. Yeah, 250. And what, and what duration of time, though? Um, 2.30. 2.30? Okay. It is 2.10, ladies and gentlemen. 2.10. I stand corrected. I can tell time by looking at a watch it's actually 206 okay 206 ladies and gentlemen we're going to start the vacuuming process momentarily i'm going to we're going to show you step by step how to pull an amazing vacuum we have we already fl flew flew we already flowed nitrogen through the system and to make it more as dry as possible because when those caps are off those line sets, you know, you're introducing atmosphere. Atmosphere is no good because there's moisture in atmosphere. You don't want moisture in your system. You want a very tight and dry system. All right, so right now we are starting the vacuum process. Now I am going to try to speak over the noise of the pump. One of the things you want to do when you're vacuuming down, you don't want the gas ballast closed until it gets around 1,000, 1,200 microns. And the reason for that is you don't want the vacuum process to go through the oil because you're gonna compromise you know, the oil already. You know, Let the vacuum pump work with the gas ballast open, right? And get all that atmosphere out of the line set, out of the coil upstairs in the attic, you know, the evaporator, out of the three corner, the three eighths, Get all of that atmosphere, all those non condensables out of the system, right? We have the True Blue, uh, the, the Blue Back Plus Pro Micron gauge, and right now we're 8,300, 8,000 microns and dropping fast. When we hit around 1,000, we're gonna close that gas ballast. And now we're gonna utilize the oil of the pump to really bring in that deep vacuum. Don't look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that rector seal. Right, that surge protector. That's what we put on to protect these two thousand dollar boards. See, there was one there. Last year we did that one. There's another one. Thirty six hundred. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a little contest. We'll put that right there. It is two eleven. Two eleven. At what time 
Do you think we're going to stop the vacuum process? It's 211. Justin at Preci Precision Heating and Cooling in Plum, Pennsylvania. A huge shout out to you. You and Craig donated your time and you helped Mikey Pipe's uh, philanthropy charitable organization with the help of Bosch install that system for that family in Vandergriff, Pennsylvania. The video is on the Mikey Pipe's YouTube, uh, Mikey Pipe's philanthropy YouTube channel. Justin, I know you don't got these, right? But you should get them. I know it's a good investment, but the amount of time that you're going to save, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to explode your head. This little setup right here, about a thousand bucks with the micron gauge, probably around 1100, 1200 bucks, but you're going to save, it shouldn't be hours, but you're going to save a good amount of time, at least 45 minutes to an hour when you're doing a vacuum on a system. Trust me, it's worth it. You can get yours at True Tech Tools uh, and use a 7% promo code. Use Know It All. He's a YouTuber and he's a true friend, but I always use his. So Know It All. Use Know It All as a promo code, you'll get 7% off. And tell Mikey Pipe sent you. All right, so now we're at 730. Daniel just closed the gas ballast. We're at 7, 12 and a half. <laughs> Seven, no, sorry. 2 12 30. All right, 8 45, 8 40, 8 30, 8 20. We're gonna let that keep dropping. We're not stopping until, until we get low, real low. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 2 14 and a half, not even 2 15 yet, but we're at 445 microns. I'm gonna start doing a decay test, and what that is showing you is the level of tightness. And it uses a formula, it uses some math, and it's all done within the true, uh, the BlueVac Plus app, right? The BlueVac Plus Pro app. And we're gonna see if it passes the decay test. We've already been doing this for nine minutes and 13 seconds. Oh, no, I'm sorry, wrong. Oops, that's a blooper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this valve. I'm gonna close that valve. We're gonna do there, and we're gonna do save recording. It's gonna, no, okay, dismiss. Uh, which one is it? That one. Start the K test, and it's failed because it already, it already uh, jumped up to 2,000. But if you notice, it's not climbing up that fast. So let's reopen. Okay, reopen. Two valves. Okay. Now we're already jumping down quick. We're already at five, four thirty-five, four twenty, four ten, four hundred, three ninety-five. All right, we'll hit that little button right there. We're gonna close, close, and we're gonna start the K test. And it already failed, all right? Look at this, uncut, unedited, raw. Let's open that back up again, that back up again. Okay, it's going back down again. And we're gonna keep doing this until we have a passing test. It is 216. All right, 250, 218. Let's close, close. We got some moisture still in there. But if you notice, that's what I was looking for. Once it stabilizes, it continues to drop even though the valves are closed. Well, obviously it's gonna fail because we're not below 500. <laughs> All right, it's 125 microns. Let's turn that back on. We're gonna start at the K test. Hopefully we're better now. Let's see. Start. I think we're gonna pass now. It is 227. It's dropping. So we know we're good. Just waiting for that to pass. 16 seconds in decay, 18 seconds, 20 seconds in decay. Let's see. When is it gonna say the decay has passed? It just did. The decay has passed. What would you like to do? I'm done, bro, I'm done. Yeah. We'll let it pull down a little bit more till we're ready to, till we're ready to dump the charge. Let that, let that go down real low, baby, real low. Hi, Peter. Hello. How's your hole? Family. Family. All right, here we are. So we had run a new eight wire and see. 
the old wires are there. We got lucky. We were able to cut open the floor a little bit in that uh, attic knee wall. And we got the Bosch BCC 100. We're going to wire this bad boy up. So I'm gonna do it one handedly because I don't believe in using anything else but my hands to work. So we have a screw there and a screw there. Ready? Screws that came with the Bosch. And we need Bosch screws. And Bosch screwdriver. Yeah, he, oh, Bosch screwdriver. Oh, Keep Bosch. Open. Hashtag love Bosch. Sponsor of the channel and also a sponsor of Mikey Pipe's Philanthropy Charitable Organization. Thank you, Bosch. We love you. Peter, you know what the string is for, right? Yes, it's not a tampon string, right? You pull on that and you'll strip away the plastic, okay? So we're going to utilize this eight wire. We're going to have Y1, Y2, and we'll have multiple stage cooling control from the thermostat. All right, Peter's got his hands dirty. You know, my hands. Leave the jumper. Leave it? Yep. So connect R, the red wire, to RC or RH. Take your pick. doesn't matter. As long as the jumper's there. Mm -hmm. Donde es Latinas Chicas? Behind us. Behind us, that's right. Aquí. Aquí es donde Latinas Chicas. Aquí. Aquí means here. Uh, here is Latinas Chicas. Se que quieres hacer esta noche. See? Like, what do you want to do tonight? Oh. Okay. Uh, yellow, Y1. Well, um, yeah, Y. <laughs> you going under it? Really? Oh. Now, you see, now look, you're going to be going under all, all the wires, aren't you? Good point. Yeah, see? <laughs> Maybe do red last? Yeah. <laughs> all right, yellow. By the way, if you're watching this right now, I want to get, I want you to give me a thumbs up because Peter is actually hands on. He's actually doing it instead of me. And he's holding the, the camera, the phone. Yeah. He's doing it, right? So let's give Peter a thumbs up. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get post notifications when I post videos, which is seven days a week. Okay. Let's take our blue, right? And put that onto C. That is our common. Okay. No, that's data. <laughs> See? Did I get you glasses? You need glasses, Peter? I need, I genuinely need. Oh! New, new contacts. I wear contacts. Okay. You know, one of the benefits of being, a, you know, a mechanic, you know, you know, a technician on, in a truck is that you, you can upgrade, uh, you know, the, your, your, you upgrade your, your benefits and you'll have vision. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mikey Pipes will give you light and you will see. <laughs> okay, so comment is in. Do you give a nice little tug? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not talking about tug jobs. Okay, there you go. Very good. Okay, now put our green to G. You know who else also has a thermostat, thermostat like this? Um, a few other people. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin and Van de Grift. Keith? Keith. Yeah, I keep <laughs> Keith, Kevin. Yeah. Okay. Steve Jr. <laughs> it does look like Steve Lav, actually. All right, what do we have left? Let's take our black wire. Actually, let's do our orange wire. Let's put, make that W2. Daniel. I'm oh, sorry, Y2, Y2. The orange wire is going to be Y2. Oh, okay. You need, you need strippers? Um, that's, uh, I can't give you strippers right now. But if you want, I could, I could buy you strippers. How many would you like? Maybe I'll bring him to the pool party. Uh -uh. Daniel? What? How many strippers you want at the pool party? Just a pair. Just a pair? A pair, a pair is two. Okay. Do you have those Wagos? I said, when, when did I get you Wagos? I said, could you bring Wagos? Oh, I couldn't hear you. You broke up at the other phone call. And I oh, okay. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. Black becomes OB. It's already fully unscrewed. I feel like I'm just unscrewed for yeah. no reason. Oh, COVID? No, asthma. Whatever. Asthma? You know, maybe your girlfriend should make you, make you some, like, uh, medicinal teas and, like, no? Okay. She's poison you. By the way, 
Peter doesn't have a girlfriend, so if there's any Latina chicas for Peter, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com, and I will be, I'll be sure to screen them first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the red, the brown. We don't need the brown. The brown you can put on W2 if you want, but it doesn't really make a difference. It's all the same. You actually writing this down? Yeah. It's always the same. All I have to know is Y2, right, is orange, and OB is black. Easy peasy. All right, good job. Thanks. Let's take the BCC 100. <laughs> Just smashed it. Like, bow, like you're going to smash that thumbs up button. All right, let's get a little bit of a, let's get a paper towel and just paste some uh, spray nine on that and let's clean up the cocky. All right, I took the washing cup from under that bathroom. You're in a Jewish home, there always, there's always a washing cup in every bathroom. All right, you die them. So we poured four of those into that pan. I got a little bit over there, it's all right. My trap is full of water. Let's go take a look at my vent, my plumbing vent. See if I see water, and yep, there's water in there. See that? See that shining water? We're good. Goes right out there into that drain. If we're lucky, we're gonna go look at the leader outside for the gutters and see if it there's water coming out of there. I think we're good. We're gonna put a cap on there, and Daniel's finishing up with the wire. Nice and very nice. Look at this. Night and day difference. A little before. Uh, a little before 3.15 in the afternoon, we did a lot here. We did a lot. I was sitting there until for, until further notice. I feel like we did a lot of work today. We're going to leave it there for now. It's out of the way. Nice. We're sending Peter onto the gog, which means roof. I'm going to show you why. Yeah, see, my fat ass is not going to get in there. Oh, yeah, you like that, don't you? Oh, yeah, fill it. Oh, the, name, the paper towels. Oh, no, get it. Oh. You see, it fell out of the... Is there water dripping out of there? Yeah. Excellent. Full, just push it right into there. Can I glue it? You don't have to glue it. It's fine. There's glue right there. You want to glue it? Because it's so loose. Okay, let's glue it. Uh, Danny said he waited to dump the charge. Dump the charge? What is it? What mic crimes is it down to? 167. 167. Okay, dump. Put a little glue on there. Dump. Yeah. Perfect. See? I had made a reference to it not being glued, and... Well, guess what? Now he's gluing it. Very nice. Very nice. What are you honking at, you honker? Come on, Peter. Let's go. I don't want you falling off the roof. The gog. Come on. Okay. Now get out of here. Come on, let's go. I don't want you on the roof. It's good. Excellent. Okay. Ooh, got some water damage here, huh? Ooh, that's not good. Want me to hold your hand? I'm good. Okay. All right. 317 powers on. Heat pipe. Heat pump. Set up. We're going to reverse. Ing valves going to be energized in heat mode. Okay. Stages. Two stages. Two stages. Accessory, none. Date and time. It is 3, 17 p.m. It's 23, fourth month, 27th day. Wi-Fi, we'll do that later. Schedule, no schedule. Review, perfect, complete. When we connect to Wi-Fi, we'll have weather, a whole bunch of other good stuff, but that's it for now. All right, since my air handler is three tons and my outdoor unit is three tons, there's no configurations, changes, or nothing else to make. All I have to do is put the cover on and clean up the attic, which is already cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> Got it in there? Yep. Everything really, I mean, lit up? I see a green light. Yep. And we see flashing. 
We'd add two pounds. Anthony, two pounds. We have a total of 55 foot of line set, and we're gonna weigh in the charge. Two pounds. Perfect. Crazy. All right. Donated to the charity. Two pounds. Your art and the Bosch is on. Who are your art appraisers? Are your no, they're people from very wealthy families. Bosch. Your daughter is. Bosch. You're a billionaire. You got a daughter. Jiu-Jitsu. All right, it's 4:45. I just finished up importing all of the video clips onto my MacBook Pro. Did a little finessing, a little. Uh, made it look nice and amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, after the outro, a little QR code, code again, if you want to donate to Mikey Pipes Philanthropy, every dollar helps. Thank you so much in advance. And thank you for voting Pipe Doctor, the number one heating and air conditioning company on Long Island in 2022. Thank you again. I am beyond humbled.